Next up, how we always upgraded MySQL and what are the differences on MySQL 8 upgrade. Traditionally, we've upgraded between the versions as, as major versions from 5.1 to 5.5, 5.5 to 5.6, 5.6 to 5.7 by setting InnoDB fast shutdown to zero, stopping existing MySQL server daemon, changing the binaries to new version, and then making configuration changes to MyCNF, starting MySQL server, running MySQL upgrade, this may be time consuming if you have a large schema, and restarting MySQL server, which may actually have an additional time, downtime during this process. So if you are actually be between the versions 5.1 to 5.5, you have to do all these steps over and over again. That's why there are advantages of staying up to date with the versions, so, so you don't actually have to do this interim versions. In MySQL 8, the process is similar. You would actually set up a testing and then choose a technique to upgrade and then plan for your cutover. In the testing phase, we recommend capturing some query logs, running PT upgrade tool, which is part of Percona toolkit, and then utilizing MySQL shell. The technique could be either side by side or in place. Cutover planning should be carefully planned and failover to new topology is one option or migrating over time the other option for no downtime upgrades. Before you even start testing phase, reviewing release notes, making sure the changes in defaults does not impact the new version, features of the new version that will be coming along. There may be, there may be some removed syntax that you're utilizing on the earlier version, deprecated functions that you're calling from your application, data restrictions, new reserved keywords, and change in behavior for certain functions and utilities. At the testing phase, the recommended method is to setting up slave and replication, run it for a month, don't do any activity on it, and um, try some, some read and batch testing on it and um, verify the schema, connectivity, error logs and you can even try proxy SQL for mirroring traffic routing and inspecting, inspecting a slow query and error logs may give you some hints about the new version. Or you can build an independent cluster, do some query testing using PT Query Digest and PT Upgrade as well as doing application testing and you can do load, load testing, benchmarking, other activities on this new cluster.